Hey guys, today we're going to do bulk import of customers and of inventory. So first thing I'll do is I'll show you my spreadsheet that I've created for customers. We've created name, telephone, email address, fax number, mobile number, business identifier, code, and this will be the billing address. So what we'll do is we'll copy these four that I've created here and we'll go back to manager. So in manager, we'll go to customers, we'll go to new customer, and on the right hand side, you'll see we've got import. Here we'll click import, and we'll paste those fields into this section here. If we click next, now we can see everything's been imported into the columns that they were assigned to. So here we'll select what this belongs to. This belongs to name, this belongs to telephone number, this belongs to the email address, this belongs to the fax number and this belongs to the mobile. Here we'll say business identifier. This will be the code and here we'll have billing address and we click import. So here we'll see everything has now been imported with all the fields populated. If we go into edit, we'll see our code has been populated, our billing address, registration, business identifier the company name, email address, and all the other fields. You can also have additional information if you really want that. You can import that as well. Okay, so we move on to our next thing. Our next thing is we want to import inventory items. So if you had a lot of inventory items already in stock and you've already got an Excel list of all that stock that you've already got, um, of all that inventory items that you're selling off stock, you can now bulk import them. So we'll go to new inventory. We'll click import again. And here again, we can paste our spreadsheet that we created. So let me show you the spreadsheet that we created. Our spreadsheet is name, description, purchase price, and sale price. Again, we'll copy the ones that we created. And we'll go back to manager and we'll paste that into there. All right now, we'll click next. Now again, it gives us all our fields that we can assign. So here we'll say name, this will be description, this will be our purchase price and this will be our selling price and we'll click import and there we've got everything imported as you can see the quantity sits at zero so you can't really define the quantity the quantity the only way we can do the quantity is either via cash sale or via a credit purchase invoice if you purchase on credit or whether you do an opening balance for existing stock that you've got in stock and that's it we're done